All right, in this video, we're going to look at the air command style animation. And on my Galaxy Note 8, when I pull my pen out, you'll notice the air command animation. That right there. I'm going to show you how to make something remotely similar to this in KLWP. But with KLWP, you know we can apply some globals to highly customize this. There's one example here. And we can close that down as well. This is just a simple on off switch. You can probably see up here the go was going from a zero to a one. And then if I tap that little arrow again, it goes back to a zero. It's all operating on one on off switch. But let me show you some customizations that we can do very quickly with some number globals as well before we start the tutorial. So with what we're going to cover here, if I come in here and adjust this speed, if I make the speed bigger, I can make these icons go farther out or I can make them smaller like that right there. So that's all about the speed and everything's still going to animate just fine as you can see there. So again, uh, adjusting the speed, I'm gonna put some space on them. And also what I'm gonna come in here and do is I'm gonna take this add angle. I'm gonna show you all this in a few minutes, just hang tight, but I can make the angle smaller uh, to make the angle in between each piece a little bit smaller or we can make it bigger as well. And we can even get it to the point where our icons are flying off the screen, which we don't want that to happen here. But my point is we can adjust all those to keep them equally spaced. And not only that, this is what I call my start angle here. I don't call it start angle here, but whatever. Um, if I adjust this angle, if I subtract a little bit, you know, we can kind of center those up some more. If I want to take that away and adjust this angle a little bit, not that way, but this way right here, we can kind of get them centered somewhere like halfway through the screen or what have you. And if I close these down, as you can see, that is still animating back the way it should be. So a lot of customizing to do here and not really that many globals. Uh, the on off switch and the duration is how long it's going to last. If I want this to be a real slow animation, now watch how slow these things are going to animate back in. Really cool effect. And not only that, if I adjust the delay, I'm gonna make the delay a little bit longer. And now let's run this one more time. You'll see them come out. And uh, yeah, you can get some really cool effects here. Closing that back up, seeing it animate away. Pretty nice. So with all that said, let's get started with a blank preset in KOWP. So let's go ahead and go on over to globals. Let's add these globals, the on off switch. I'm gonna call it go. Going to add a duration, dir. This is going to be a number global. I'm not going to change any of these numbers on any of these number globals, by the way. Let's also add a delay number global, a speed number global, a start angle number global, a extra angle number global. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and adjust some of these. The duration, I'm just gonna bump it up to 10. That's how long the entire animation is gonna last once we create it. But then we have to factor in a delay. Now our delay, you don't have to have a delay on this, but that's how each icon was coming out, you know, one after the other. I'm just gonna add a slight delay to this. The speed is gonna be how far we move them. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up to about 50. The start angle, now that's gonna be that number one that pops up. That's 270 degrees. So let's go ahead and adjust that. And the extra angle, I'll just come in here for right now and give it something like 20. You can easily adjust these after we create it. That's what's cool about globals. You can link it to a whole bunch of things and you don't have to go back and edit and manipulate so many other things inside of your preset. So let's go over to items. Let's go ahead and add an overlap group, and we're gonna call this one. This is gonna be our first icon that pops out. Inside of this overlap group, let's add a shape. I'm just gonna add a circle, change its color, bump its size up a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back to my overlap group and I'm going to add a text item, and I'm gonna call this one. Bump that text size up a little bit, and there you have it. That's our first icon. Now we want to take this overlap group that we've called one that has our circle and our text item. Let's position this in the center right. If you're a left-handed or find that you use your left hand more on your device, you may want to center this left instead. And that may also affect how you add or subtract angles. And we'll cover that right here shortly. So now we're inside of this overlap group. Let's go to animation and let's react on a global switch. So we're gonna add React on 
global switch, pick the global switch, go. And let's leave it at scroll. We're gonna do some basic animations here. No complex animations. Ease, I'm going to set to normal. The duration, this is a one-time thing. Once we create all this stuff, we can copy and paste and just change a few pieces. So the duration, how long do we want this to last? GV dur. Let's come down to speed. We had a GV speed global, so I'm going to link that as well. The angle, I want this one, since this is number one, I want this to be the start angle. And then for our delay, we don't need a delay for this one, but we will need to apply a delay to two, three, four, five, and how many ever you want to make. I'm gonna make four in this video because you're gonna see the pattern real quick, hopefully. Now, what we also need to add inside of here is a scale animation. I'm not using complex animations for this because of the angles. We can easily adjust those, you know, the way I was doing the scroll technique here and the angle in which it's gonna animate out. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and test this and see what happens. As you can see, it does go up. That's the 270 uh, that we see right here. Of course, it says zero, but remember we did link the start angle to that, so it's going up. Um, I think of it as 90, but it's 270 in KLWP. You can kind of ignore what these say because the speed was not 100. The speed is set to 50, but that's what's happening. That's what's going to happen so far. Let's add another animation and let's do the scale. And that's going to be the same global switch, the only one we have. And the action that we want here is going to be a scale out. That's going to make it go away. But actually what I want to do here is I want to invert this because I want it to do this when I cut my switch on. I want it to kind of scale out on us so we can see it. Uh, zoom out, I guess you could say. But while the switch is off, you're not going to see it. When you cut the switch on, that's when it's going to zoom out on you to its original size and it's going to be scrolling up at the same time. To show you that, now we can test this and you'll see that it is scaling the way it should be. But before we do that, let's also go in here and adjust our duration. Let's do the same global for dur. The amount, leave that at 100. We don't have to adjust that. The delay, we don't need a delay for this one. Let's go ahead and add a button so that we can see this stuff actually work. So back inside of root, I'm going to add a font icon, something real quick. We'll put the star and I'm just gonna leave the star right up there at the top. You can move it to wherever you want to. And for this star, when I touch it, I want to toggle the global switch. So there we go, toggle global switch, go. And now as we do this, by us inverting, as you can see, when I pressed that switch, right now the switch is on and it scaled on us, we, it zoomed out on us, and then it also scrolled up. Now if I cut the switch off by touching that star, it's going to scroll back to where it came from and it's going to scale back out so we can't see it. All right, now with that done, what we want to do next, this is where the little bit of math comes into play. Let's copy and paste that overlap group called one and let's name it two. I'm gonna go into this circle We'll change its color, so I picked a blue. Going back out of here, and I'm gonna change the text to a two so that we can see each one individually. And right now, if I press this button, we're gonna see the blue one. Now that's kind of crazy. What the heck is going on there? That's not right, but I bet if I save this, what we should see is just a two on top of the one. That's what we should be seeing there. So right now the two is over the one. But what we want to happen is we want this one to come out, and shortly after we want the two to come out somewhere over here and we want that little bit of a delay and we want to change our angle. That's where the math is going to be needed for us to animate this number two properly. So here I am back inside of that two overlap group. I'm gonna go to its animation. Since we copied everything over, we should still have our same codes. I'm gonna go to scroll and the duration, I wanna leave that alone. The speed, I want to leave it alone. The angle, what we want to do now is we want to take away a little bit. Now 270 is straight up. If we did something like 240 or whatever, if we subtract it a little bit from this, it's gonna move it to where I want it somewhere, you know, like 270 straight up. Somewhere around here, we are subtracting from 270. It may be different if you're left-handed and you're gonna be using, uh, you'd have, probably have to add here. That's what I was talking about earlier, but let's subtract our extra angle. So 
our extra angle was set to 20 because our start angle, if you remember from the beginning and a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, our start angle was 270. Well, now we're showing a 250. That means our GV extra angle here is 20 degrees. So now when we animate this, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how this looks right now. Right now they are animating at different angles, but they're coming out at the same time. This is where we want to apply some delay. So down here to our delay code, let's tap on that. And we want this one to come out right after number one. So all we have to do here is a uh, delay. And it's going to delay it two tenths of a second. Two represents two tenths because 10 represents one. So we're gonna see a little bit of a delay now and let's test it out. Notice the one's gonna go, then the two, and now there's our one and there's our two. Good to go. Now let's also come and adjust our scale out. Let's apply that same delay to that one as well. Now let's copy this two overlap group and let's create a third one. I'm going to change my color and my text to three. And then once you have those things adjusted, let's see where it's gonna pop out at now. It's probably gonna be crazy again like it was a while ago. Yeah, there's our three right on top of our two. Well, we have to come in here and this is the little bit of extra math that we're going to apply to make this move over here and create that circular effect. So let's go to the animation for number three. Let's go to scroll. Let's go to our angle. And remember how we subtracted GV extra angle? Well, what we want to do now is we want to subtract two of those. So a way to do that is two times GV extra angle. Now remember, the very first one was 270. Number two was at 250 because we subtracted 20. This third one is gonna be at 230. So really we're going, we're subtracting 20 each time. This is gonna keep it equally spaced and as you can see now, that three is equally spaced and we're maintaining a nice curve to this air command style animation. Now let's also come in here into our delay. We want this one to come out after the second one. Now remember, we had the first one. The second one is delayed coming out after the first one. Now we want this third one to be delayed after the second one. All we have to do here is take two times our GV delay. And let me go ahead and apply the same math to the delay of our scale. Instead of a single delay, we want two of them. So two times GV delay. And backing out of here, let's see how it looks. What should happen here is the one should go in, followed by the two, followed by the three. That slight delay. As you can see, that's working perfectly. Now the one's going to come out, followed by the two, followed by the three. And all of those angles are going to maintain equal spacing. And there you have it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a fourth one. What I'm going to do here, change my color, change my text. And once you have those changed, we are in the fourth one now. So we're gonna to go to the animation and remember we copied this over from three. So we're gonna continue this pattern on where we're gonna to come to our angle where we had two times GV extra angle. Well now let's do three. So now it's subtracting technically 60 from 270 because it went from 270 to 250 to 230. Now it's down to 210. That's what's keeping them equally spaced. And then we also have, don't worry about that four flying out of there. Once we save it, it'll fix it. But uh, the GV delay, let's do three times GV delay. And hopefully you are seeing the pattern here backing out of this. Don't forget your scale out delay. And now we should be good to go. Let's save this, go back to the home screen. And now we do have everything delayed nicely. All of the angles are equally spaced. It looks good. Now let's go mess around with those number globals. So do you want the animations to be a little bit slower? Bump up the duration. Do you want the delays to be a little bit slower? Bump up the delay. Do you want it to go out farther? bump up the speed. As you can see, these things are moving and everything still staying equally spaced. Start angle. Do you want the one to come straight out? If not, I'm going to subtract a little bit. You may have to add if you're left-handed. I haven't tested that, but it's again, basic addition or subtraction, nothing too crazy there. And then since I've moved my start angle, notice everything is still equally spaced because we have these globals linked. And now do you want the gap between each one of these more? Let's just change our extra angle to something like that. And now we're going to have a 
Slightly different looking animation, but everything works together real nice. That's a little bit too slow for my taste, so I'm gonna bump that duration back down and I'm gonna make my delay two tenths of a second. Let's see what that looks like. That yeah, looks okay, but uh, more icons. If you wanted to add that fifth one, again, just go in there and keep that same pattern going with GV delay, as well as the angles. Remember how we were doing two times and three times? You would do a four times, five times, etc. cetera. Um, and also, I hope you do see the importance now of having those number globals where we can easily adjust this and modify it, and we don't have to go in and change so many different pieces. And there you have it. That is the example of the air command style animation, but with KOWP, obviously we can link a lot more globals to it, make it highly more customizable, and hopefully you will find some use of this on your own preset. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.